is... Thank you so much for having me. It's a, it's a great pleasure to be to close this uh, great event, uh, the CIO event here. And um, yeah, I want to share with you my almost four year um, ride at, at SAP, being a global CIO in a high tech company. Um, as I always say, you know, we have 60,000 CIOs because I have 60,000 employees, because everybody in the high tech feels like a CIO. So you get a lot of advice. Um, um, during the day, uh, what you have to do and do better. So from that perspective, talking about innovation, um, what are the, and you heard a lot about megatrends this morning, um, how we embraced innovation from a conversation, consumer technology, social media, cloud. Um, in SAP, how that already changed the role of, of the CIO, my role, and the role of my organization. Before I start, I like let me let me little give my perspective on the mega trends. I think you heard about mobility, cloud, big data, social. What we learned over the last few years is that those mega trends are not uh, isolated, not be looked in a separate way. They are well connected, and let me explain why. Um, looking at mobility, I believe and we believe that the future desktop um, will be a mobile one. Looking in our population, my organization, we, we have over 60,000 users. Uh, we have um, almost 50,000 mobile devices. So I believe the future uh, office uh, will be based on a mobile device. If you look at the ne next big trend, um, all about contacts, uh, big data, I think the, the technology is out there to analyze a huge amount of information. Uh, we're talking about terabyte of information now in real time, and looking at you know, the, the total cost of ownership uh, in a very affordable way. Um, so if you combine this big data topic that you can analyze information, where's your sales, you know, what's going on in the sales pipeline, what are the financial information, and have that information available on mobile devices, you will see, and we see this already internally, there's a different behavior the frequency and the volume of information that's been used and adapted and consumed in the organization is multiple, multiple higher than before. But that's only possible because you combine both uh, megatrends, which is analytics, <coughs> big data combined with mobile. And if you add to that also the whole cloud topic, we see more and more um, uh, applications be deployed through private or public cloud. Um, there is the need to have cloud solutions in place. I'll give you one example. If you have multiple devices like I have, I have almost, yeah, I have five mobile devices and laptops, et cetera. Um, the key challenge is where you manage your mobile, your documents. So you need a private cloud solution uh, to manage your unstructured data, your PowerPoint, et cetera, to have access to this information from all your devices at any time. And then the, the next topic from my perspective, if you look at social, social software is, it's also connected to uh, uh, the other megatrends. For example, if you have a dashboard on your mobile device, you have some information, important information that you discover from a sales perspective or financials that you see certain trends, um, you want to share that. You want to share this with your communities. Uh, you want to share this with one click like you do today in the consumer environment. Consumer environment means um, you have a website, there are links to Twitter, Facebook, Google+, etc. And it's very easy and very convenient to share certain topics with one click, you comment on that, and uh, it's easy to interact with your, your different communities. So having said that, I believe the real value, and for us as a CEO, I think it's very important that we bring those mega trends together. If you run an innovation project, I, my, always my recommendation is to look how can you connect um, a, a topic with, with other mega trends as listed here. I mean, it's also for, for me or my organization, um, we discovered, um, I discovered, especially the last three years, that uh, the IT organization and the CEO has to play, looking at innovation, three roles. And I have to admit, uh, I'm in the business over 23 years. Um, I did only two of them. Um, 
starting with best run IT. The expectation is coming also in SAP to transform IT, to be uh, excellence from operation point of view, uh, global delivery model, enterprise architecture, managing your vendor portfolio. Uh, IT gets measured and benchmarked uh, in different ways looking at to be best run IT. In our cases, we try to simplify our landscape uh, as much as possible. We have, as I mentioned, 60,000 users, 250 locations, over 80 countries that we have to support. And we um, simplified our application landscape that all our critical application like on an ERP and HR system, CRM system, are on single instances so that we have um, almost less than 60 business critical application uh, simplified uh, running there uh, here. So help us really also from an innovation point of view to connect new technology like mobile in an easy way. But my, again, my experience is this, this, this first topic has to be really in good order to move on to the next challenge, which is uh, to be part of, at the table of a business transformation. SAP is going to, and you saw that, a massive change, the way how we <coughs> adapt innovation from a product perspective, how we do acquisitions, how we do regional expansion, et cetera. So the, the, the challenge coming to SAP was how can we double revenue in, in less than four or five years? And we discovered that IT, around about one third of the improvement levers to get there is IT related. So IT has to be part of that discussion and part of that core team to transform a company to grow and then also be more efficient. The third, the third function that my organization that I discovered, you know, coming into SAP, the first request also, we have to drink our own champagne, eat our own dog food, and drive innovation. And the starting point here is, um, is in 2010, we started with few projects, like the implementation of uh, iPads. I asked my team to come up with an idea to uh, enable and secure 1,000 iPads within two, three months. And I'm, became such a huge demand that it's now a really important topic to SAP. We did this in other areas, um, and uh, we did this in six, eight weeks, small teams of four, six people, uh, combined with uh, folks from the business line. And what they learned at the end is, is there a business value for, for example, mobile devices, mobile apps? Should they move this into the traditional uh, project portfolio? Should they invest more? And we learned also from, a, from Louis, uh, uh, how, to, how to use it, how to implement it from a technology point of view and then from a product point of view. So having said that, we started with few programs in 2010. In the meantime, 5% of my project portfolio is innovation driven that I, together with my management team, picked new topics that we want to explore, that we drive those innovation projects in total 100 per year now uh, for six, eight weeks. The business learns and, uh, and, and, and we try to bring as much as possible also convince the business to do this in the normal portfolio. So having said that, um, it's becoming a huge value for the business. It's becoming also a value for the business to understand innovation and the adoption rate, what we see from a mobile analytics cloud perspective, I, I believe is totally different than if, I, if we wouldn't invest in innovation. So again, Three roles at the end, operational excellence, driving transformation on the business side, and be a strategic thinker to understand what's going on on the innovation side that I, we can embrace um, internally and be part of better services and products. So looking at those um, um, mega trends and innovation topics, uh, what are the key changes that um, those innovations already triggered uh, looking at uh, the, the operation, the IT and business operation at SAP. And let me go through different categories, and I believe uh, the major driver for changes in our organization is consumerization of IT. If you have a chance to go to consumer technology shows like I do, I go to the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and other events, there are a lot of technology out there that you can set up the clock within six to nine months, depending on geography and industry, it becoming a driver for change uh, in the enterprise business. And let me explain, go through the different dimension. First of all, social media. The, the key question that we always have, should we allow social media um, in the enterprise? Looking at Facebook, Twitter, outside on the consumer side. 
Are there other tools out there that helps me also to uh, uh, generate a, f a Facebook or Twitter-like uh, experience? Usability, if you look at your Apple devices and, and other mobile devices, there's almost no training, there's no manual out there. And I think the expectation, uh, looking at our end users, which are consumers, are uh, also um, going up from, from that perspective. Devices. If, if you ask how many devices do you support as a CIO, I think there's a change going on. In the past, there was one corporate device. Looking at the diversity of mobile devices and the, the, the speed of innovation, I think we see now a clear shift to multiple devices and personal devices. Users coming from, from college or university, they expect that we support uh, personal devices. Also, the, the, the way how we consume information is in the middle of a big change. In the past, we looked at very static information, hard to read, to analyze. It's more interactive, real time going forward. Also, support model. I believe that if you're a consumer, you love to go to Apple stores and other stores, and because the way how you get services and uh, approach is totally different than the typical help desk um, that you have to call or um, uh, provided services. So I believe. And, and we do this already internally, there's a big change. Overall, I, I believe that our um, office environment, our working environment is in the middle of a big change from a desktop into a mobile one. So let me go through the different dimensions and explain what I believe are already, what's already going to happen in that area. If you look at the social media topic, um, looking at the users groups coming into the enterprise, they are using more social media than emails. They are, they are, they are communicating, collaborating in a different way. And there is an expectation also um, to bring the same user experience um, um, internally. That means what you do on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, there's the same expectation. The key question is what's different in the enterprise compared to the consumer business and looking at social software. I believe that we will have, I think, two, three challenges. One is uh, you need not only a critical mass for a platform for the internal usage. So in our cases, we use one software uh, to serve 60,000 users internally, which is also important that number two is this is a central place for collaboration. And the challenges with all cloud solutions is there's always a collaboration space connected to that. And the, the, the biggest challenge is then you have to maintain that as an end user, as a customer, multiple um, collaboration spaces, and that's really hard to maintain going forward. Uh, that leads to the third point. Those collaboration software and software itself, social software, has to be, they have to be connected through the value change to the different business application. So my prediction is, and we do this also internally, with a software called Jam, is that the software is not only being used internally, we can reach to 10 million users already outside with partners, uh, customers, et cetera, to communicate in a very secure way. So we will have a similar experience going forward also with Facebook. Everybody feels comfortable to get connected and share information uh, in that way. The second big change that I see in the enterprise business is um, this information will be, or this software will be connected, and is already connected to your business application in the HR area, in the analytic area, in the sales and customer relationship area, and marketing area. Wherever you have information that's value, and a user like to share it, the connectivity to a central social software has to be in place. And I think that's the biggest challenge that I, I see going forward, that you don't want to maintain different uh, places for collaboration. Going to mobility, I think mobility, as I said, from my point of view, is becoming a, um, a corporate standard. And what kind of changes we see from an from a end user and consumer perspective? Number one, our users, they expect, they're, they're looking for choices. So we don't have any more one corporate device, a BlackBerry. Uh, we provide over 10 different models and operating systems. They expect that new models being introduced after, you know, available on the consumer side uh, in a few weeks after, um, after also in the enterprise business. Give an example with Galaxy S3 
or the, the iPhone 5 and the Galaxy S4, the expectation is within four to six weeks. Our users internally like to have access to those, uh, those uh, mobile devices.